Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 15th to the 21st of February 2021. So I hope you're well Cancer. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message. And thank you for all the well wishes for those of you that um, know I injured my back a couple of weeks ago. Um, I took a few days off. And it is getting better slowly. It just takes time. And I am not the most patient of people. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Okay, what do we have for Cancer, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for Cancer. 15th to the 21st. Oh, there we go. Oh, Courage. Leo-esque energy there with the lion. Um... But look how that lion looks straight at you. It will face anything head on. There is no blinking. There is no side glance. It is just, I am ready. I am in my power. I am courageous. I will stand in my power and face whatever comes at me straight on, you know? So it feels very, it's a lovely empowering energy there. Okay, what do we have for Cancer, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Cancer. 15th to the 21st of February 2021, thank you. Message for Cancer, thank you. Oh my goodness, we've got answered prayers. So whatever you're facing here, Cancer, it definitely feels for some of you that you're being supported. And you might find an answered prayer this week. Very nice energy indeed. So I'm going to pull three cards. First card, as you all know by now, is the issue or challenge. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome should you take the advice. Then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, Cancer, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, what do we have for Cancer, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our, lo our lovely Cancerians, please. 15th to the 21st of February 2021. Okay, I have three cards there, but let's go with it. Okay, so we have the Hanged Man, the Star, Page of Wands. Eight of Cups is advice from Spirit. And the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is generally Aries. The Star is Aquarius. Hanging Man Neptunian. So Pisces link there. Okay, can we, can we clarify the cards on the table for Cancer, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Let's clarify the cards on the table for Cancer. Clarify the cards on the table for Cancer, please. Angel Spirits Guides, 15th to the 21st of February 2021. Let's just shuffle one more time. Thank you. I've got the Hanging Man again. Wow. The Eight of Cups, oh, okay, Page of Swords, <laughs> flicked out there. And we have the Queen of Wands with the Four of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have Death. So, Cancer, we have courage i'm going to pull a card what do we need to be courageous about 
what does cancer need to be courageous about please angel spirits guides Your cards are taking a bit to fall out and I do prefer them falling out because it it kind of tunes the cards with your energy so what do we have for cancer please let's clarify this courage card thank you let's clarify the card of courage please angel spirits guides okay if it doesn't fall out I will choose do we have for cancer please angel spirits guides thank you okay oh so i have the page of cups now the page of cups i mean yes this can be linked with offers opportunities it's something connected to your heart so yes, this can be in terms of your intuition. I mean, generally the Page of Cups can talk about intuitive messages, trusting your intuition to lead you forward, trusting your heart. Decisions are made from the heart here. It definitely feels in this energy you're being guided to new opportunity, um, new love, can be to do with gifts can be to do with creative opportunities call it what you will there's a message of has have courage now this page of cups is to do with an answered prayer so the gift is coming i mean this can be a gift this is known as a gift energy so it definitely feels cancer for some of you that there could be some gift given you by the universe and that's what i'm feeling here um and this is new beginnings, um, beginnings of change, that kind of energy. So definitely an energy of the gift is coming by the universe. It's very beautiful. Well, there's definitely this energy to hanged man's, which is dominating energy for you. Waiting, waiting. And what are you waiting for? Well, it feels for some of you, you're waiting for some kind of opportunity, passion um, to be realised here, to come to fruition. I mean, the Page of Wands, yes, this can be to do with news, to do with an opportunity here, offers, um, opportunities, most definitely, generally positive news with the Page of Wands. Um, so very good in terms of business career, but remember the Wands energy can be to do with your passions your desires something that's very connected to your heart and soul so it might well be that you're waiting for news on a project or you're waiting for news on um starting something that's very close to your heart and soul you know that kind of energy um the hanged man is a card of things haven't played out things are still playing out ducks you know, it's almost kind of like the ducks need to be in a row uh, the universe is aligning so there is an energy of waiting feeling in limbo i mean we feel in we feel hanged man energies for all sorts of different reasons it can be a period of waiting here feeling in limbo i mean sometimes health issues can make us feel in limbo sometimes um Changes in our job circumstances can make us feel in limbo. Changes in relationship circumstances can make us feel in limbo. You know, it can be multiples of those things. So you might be experiencing that cancer for whatever reason. And you're, you're wait it's almost like you're waiting for this door to open that's very much connected to your heart, soul, your passion, your desire here. Um, the message is here, have faith. Don't lose hope, don't lose faith. Because it feels when the two hanged men energies, this has been going on for a period of time. And the, the message with the star is stay hopeful. The path you are on is absolutely the right path for you. 
but it feels in this situation there is just some the universe is still aligning still lining things up it might well be in order to get some kind of opportunity or door opening in terms of some kind of passion that you want to start here it feels it feels that things aren't quite lined up things still have a bit to play out and that is the challenge here the waiting but the message is you will get the blessing you will get your answered prayers just stay hopeful i mean this is the divine wish fulfillment card so don't lose sight of that hope dream wish and the message from the universe is there will be some message of truth here cancer that is the page of swords learning something discovering something Yeah, I mean, it, this can be about learning truths as well. So for some of you, this hangman could have been by learning some kind of truth here. But the Page of Swords generally is some kind of news or information or message of truth that allows you to turn your back on disappointment, to turn your back on things that have run their course now and move to something that is really fulfilling because the eight of cups moves towards the nine of cups the heart's desire the wish fulfillment feeling completely and utterly contented and fulfilled on every level in whichever aspect of life this represents so for some of you there is a message the news the truth the information is coming your way that will allow you to turn your back on some kind of disappointment walk away move on and what are you walking towards well you're walking towards the ninth cup you know the page of cups the gift the gift is coming so it feels very beautiful the death card cancer is a card of, of endings um but it's an empowering ending something dealing with some kind of ending here again you might have felt in limbo because you've been adjusting as a result of some kind of ending as well or it could well be this period of limbo is finishing this period of limbo is ending it feels more like that actually this period of limbo have courage your prayers are being answered the period of limbo is ending so let's clarify this death card. Yeah. So we have the nine of wands with the ten of cups. You know, the nine of wands is a card of a challenging journey. Now that could be in a relationship or something that's affected a relationship. But the nine of wands is something is nearly over. And it's interesting because the ten in tarot is completion. And what is this Nine of Wands waiting for? Well, the Nine of Wands is waiting for the Tenth Wand, the completion. And that's what you're waiting for with that Hanged Man energy. It feels you're waiting or you're, there's a message of you've got one more push, one more obstacle, have courage. I'm definitely getting this energy of just one more obstacle, one more push before you can put something behind you and move forward. Now, that could be something affecting your relationship or within your relationship or something that affects, affects your relationship externally. But there's a kind of message of you've just cut, you've come so far, you have just one more push to go and then that is it. That is it. That will be the end, you know. You know, the Ten of Cups, if it's something that has out external that's affected your relationship is the rainbow of blessings the happy ever after it's also a card of being productive remember hard work being productive so it's it's a lot of hard work to get to that ten of pentacles but there's definitely an energy of you're literally so close to re-establishing happiness harmony you know contentment not just be for you but if it applies to family relationships and so on so it definitely feels in this instance there's just one challenge or one obstacle to go and that will be it you know that will be the ending and that's what you're being told and you're so close the message is keep on going because you're so close to to putting a challenging burden behind you a challenging journey behind you yeah 
So don't give up. That's what you're being told. Don't give up. Keep going. This is the divine nudge. It's not a time to give up. It's a time for action. Because for some of you, the gift is coming. And you can see the gift. You're being told, don't give up. Keep taking action. Because that cup, the cup that you're looking for, is coming your way. Have courage. You will get your answered prayers. Now, it might well be in the form of an Aries or a Queen of Wands, who is a leader, somebody very magnetic, um, charismatic, a go-getter, a card of action, a person of action, male or female energy, um, offering you the wand because she holds the wand that the Page of Wands holds. So it feels that this person is influential in, in offering you something, offering you the gift, offering you the tenth wand that you've been pushing and working so hard for. It feels very beautiful here, Cancer. It definitely feels... The universe is telling you, get ready, stay strong, be courageous, keep on being in your power and taking action, decisive action. Don't let things get on top of you. Don't give up because the gift is coming your way and it's in the form of an answered prayer. I love this energy. The, f the period of being in limbo will be over. There is just one push, one obstacle, one last thing to deal with and then... There is the gift, the offer. And it feels like a person is bringing this in. I love this energy. I love the energy so much, Cancer. It feels very hopeful. If there's been challenges within a relationship, the Queen of Wands is decisive action. Just keep on going, taking action, take the lead, take control of something. Because it feels that there is just one push and something will be over. You know, the period of challenge will be over. It's interesting because I, I don't know why I pulled another card for you. But for some of you, we have, <laughs> you know, well, let's just go with it. We have temperance, which is a card of... of re-establishing the balance you know re-establishing the balance learning from past experiences and um, refocusing you know on what is of value to you now in your life um you know how you adjust the course of your beliefs and how you move forward and once again find your flow this can also be a good reconciliation energy as well for some of you in terms of romance relationships it's also a card of, of by your own efforts you are finding the way through what has been an extreme opposing situation you know and you're finding the way through finally establishing balance finding your flow so i love the energy remember the, the temperance card is sagittarius ruled by jupiter the wheel of fortune so, you know, there is great expansion, new horizons, things opening up for you, finding your flow within the energy. But some kind of gift, absolutely beautiful gift, that could be in the form of offer, opportunity, um, acknowledgement, peace offering even, coming your way. We have tree wisdom, this tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds it makes. Lovely energy. So, Cancer, that's what I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.